I want to see myself living in a world where I'm hired because of my skills, not my looks, paid because of my work um, and effort, not my gender, regardless of age or social economic background. We very often say he. And I'm like, just change your language. Start, because we have to be able to imagine ourselves in positions that were not traditionally ours, um, if we're gonna ever get there. So for me, I think change would be where men and women are sharing uh, parenting and childcare much more evenly, uh, so that it becomes much more, when you're looking in the workplace, I've got to leave to go get home or whatever it is, it's better men and women doing it the same and nobody would think twice about it. And I think that would have a really big impact on whether women want to stay in the workplace. I would actually like women in the House of Commons to be asked, invited to speak first, ahead of any incumbents, because our voices are drowned out, and I think we should be given that privilege to acknowledge uh, the lack of representation. And I just wonder what your response is to that, to make kind of taking all the progress we're making as females and kind of being like, well, it's not all men, which it isn't, of course, but kind of that reaction and what you think about that. Yeah, I think it's really important if we're going to make change to have men on board. And um, I think if you want to make change, you have to assume the best of people. The ultimate feminist act you can do as a woman or a girl is to love yourself. Um, we're in a society that conditions men to hate women, conditions women to hate themselves. And so if you're able to try and break free from that and actually, you know, realize your worth and your importance and you deserve to have a voice you deserve to take up space you deserve to do what you want to do you deserve to have an opinion you deserve to not be interrupted either you deserve to aim for the top 